Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, dear colleagues, uh, my name is Damian Zielinski, I'm from Poland, and I'm a forester. It's a great honor to be here again. Two years ago I presented this subject, but from a bit different point of view, and today after this two or even three years, I would like to show the current situation that we have in Białowieża forest. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to underline that 77% uh, of forests in Poland are managed by the State Forest National Forest Holding. From the very beginning, nearly 100 years, we managed our forest sustainably. But uh, knowing that productive functions and protective functions are very important, all we are doing in the forest, we are doing for society. This is the most important. But there is a one point on Polish map that uh, very hot that needs to be um, how to say it uh, show to everyone. Uh, I think that the most important is to, to understand the Białowieża forest is the knowledge that the Białowieża forest is managed by a group of independent state organizational units. The national park, 10,000 hectares, and 52,000 hectares, three forest districts, the state forest. Of course, we have some nature reserve in our commercial forest in this three forest district. That is why 45% of forest area is excluded from the forest management in Białowieża, in Białowieża forest. Uh, nearly 100 years ago, a foresters in Poland decided that, okay, we have to exclude some areas from forest management and we have to uh, observe the nature processes. That is why we created this nature reserve. Next, the Białowieża National Park, the first park national park in Poland, after the communism period, we decided to establish the promotional forest complex to promote a sustainable forest management. Next, it was written, this, this, this Białowieża forest on the list of World Heritage, UNESCO. Uh, two years ago, we also excluded some referential functions, areas with referential functions. Uh, sometimes in media space, you have uh, information that this is ancient forest, untouched by human hand. This is not true, because whole Biovisual forest throughout the ages was influenced by human activity, settlements, hunting, grazing, beekeeping, and logging, also in, during the Second World War. Uh, after the Second World War, foresters decided that destroyed forest has to be managed. That is why we plant it and harvest it. Plant it and harvest it. And six years ago, seven years ago, the minister decided to, that uh, the timber harvesting limit should be limited rapidly. That is why every year we could harvest only 46,000 cubic meters. And it was like a Pandora box. We opened the Pandora box. Because every next year, we register more infestated spruce by bark beetles. I'm telling this because there's ongoing discussion about different approaches to nature management. Sustainable management, forest management, or natural processes. It is also very important to have knowledge about uh, the subject that we are discussing. That is why three years ago we started a large scale inventory of almost everything in Białowieża Forest, in the national park and three forest districts. We measured dead wood, flower, birds, absolutely everything, including cultural heritage. 
show to the society that <coughs> this forest was managed by my foresters. Uh, we need this knowledge because there is a lot of zones in this forest, the National Park, State Forest Service, the, the Nature Reserve, Natura 2000, the UNESCO zones, wet forest site stands, and so on. Uh, the aim of this inventory is to gather the knowledge about forest ecosystems and determine the impact of the ongoing spruce bark beetle outbreak on forest. Because of the decision of the Minister of uh, Environment, now we can cut trees because of the safety reasons only. Forest Research Institute conducted this research. The inventor of standing dead trees in the surrounds of communication roads, the communication of uh, the contribution of the remote sensing potential risk assessment. It is very important, very helpful for foresters and state fire service and local authorities because every cut tree is immediately put to the internet. The internet changed the world. YouTube, Facebook, I titled this slide Forestry in the Age of Public Scrutiny. A lot of people from NGOs, political opposition, society, they watched. They are watching what's going on in the Oviosa Forest. Uh, they, they are using many different tools, the social media, the traditional media, some lobbying with politics, scientists, celebrities, and so on. We see that this is, uh, this is also very important for us, how to communicate with society that this forest, three forest district, was managed by the foresters. That is why we create new strategies, we use social media, we try to send this message to the all stakeholders. And very important is, is learning from each other, learning from our mistakes. That is why we, uh, strict, we cooperate with our colleagues in, in Bavaria, Germany, in Czech Republic, because we want to know how they solve this problem, this issue, in Bavaria National Forest Park and, nat uh, and Natural Park Shumava. It is very important because after collecting this all informations, next year we are facing a huge challenge. Together with uh, UNESCO experts, we have to elaborate a new forest management plan for this forest. It is also very important to discuss having knowledge, not emotions. So the open issues in the case on Biovisa Forest are needs and, and potential of development of local inhabitants, employment, wood, tradition, forest tourism, impact of abandoning sustainable forest management, active or passive protection, scenarios for forest management developing in the long term perspective, the EU guidelines, Natura 2000, and from this point, some conclusions for forest management of Biovisa Forest, we, we can show on this slide. Consideration on scientific research results. Outbreak of the bark beetle causes a generation gap. Expansion of hornbeam. Compromise. Division into zones of active and passive protection. Elaborating a common standpoint in long-term perspective. Experts, various social groups, and local people, very important. And the role of mass media. The message should be based on knowledge, not on emotions. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the snapshot of the situation that we have in, in Poland right now. And uh, this is the open question. What, this, what we will be doing in the forest, in Białowieża forest? in a few years. Thank you very much. Valdez. Well,